Typically living in rainforest trees over 10 meters tall, the Hainan black crested gibbon, which has long arms and legs but no tail, rarely sets foot on the ground, making captive breeding difficult. As one of seven extant gibbon species, they are endemic to Hainan and are found nowhere else. A lot of efforts have gone into restoring their habitat, but helping the ape to survive has proven to be much harder than expected. Recently, China View reporters trekked to the Ba Wangling National Nature Reserve in Hainan's Changjiangli Autonomous County to see how watchmen spare no effort in tracking the gibbons and keeping tabs on their movements in the rainforest. Their efforts help in terms of both protecting the animals and aiding in scientific research. We need to carry some necessary supplies, such as food, tents, and sleeping bags from the bottom of the mountain because of the harsh conditions in the rainforest. After two hours of climbing, the group came to the first monitoring station, a 10 square meter room where the watchmen rest when they aren't looking for the gibbons. They set up tents as their temporary homes. Since there's no electricity or water, they use water from a nearby stream instead. However, they don't get much time to rest. They rose at 5 a.m. the next morning, when it was still dark and quiet, to prepare for more search efforts. We usually get up at 4.30 in the morning and start right after breakfast. We just take some food and water with us. The reason they start searching so early is because the gibbons have a habit of calling in the morning. Usually a male will be the first to call at dawn, joined by other gibbons for the next 20 minutes. The calling starts every hour and lasts until 1 p.m. The calling is used to mark their territory and can help the watchmen locate the gibbons. But this time, the watchmen went to two monitoring stations and still failed to hear the call of the gibbons at half past 11. The gibbons should be here. Our position might still be too low in the mountain, so maybe we missed them. The watchmen said that the gibbons, which originally resided in the lowlands of the forest, were forced to less suitable habitats at higher elevations, as their old habitat has been destroyed. Unrestrained logging and poaching have put the species on the brink of extinction. To make way for rubber plantations and other commercial forest, large tracts of rainforest, which provide shelter and food for the gibbons, were destroyed. In addition, gibbon bones are highly prized for their use in traditional Chinese medicine, and mass hunts took place between 1960 and 1980. Surveys show that in the 1950s, more than 2,000 gibbons lived on the island, but by the 1980s, only seven could be found all of them on the Baowangling National Nature Reserve. It hurts that the ribbons had to run all the way through the rainforest to find the food. I always imagined that the mountains were thick with tall trees when I was young. Aware of the extinction risk, the local government, with help from international organizations, has tried to restore the gibbons' habitat. Zhou Zhaoli told us that the Baowangling National Nature Reserve was set up to preserve the habitat in 1980 and was later expanded in 2003. The new area is mostly secondary rainforest, or forest that has regrown after deforestation. The large size of the reserve makes it hard to search for the rare apes. Sometimes the watchmen can hear their calls but cannot see them. But after 10 years of monitoring, the watchmen have become very familiar with their living habits, they can always find some clues in the rainforest. Sometimes we can see the fruit they ate. See, like this. It is recorded that there are 120 kinds of food that the gibbons eat in the forest, such as new leaves, insects, and bird eggs. We write down how they have behaving and what fruit they prefer for scientific research purposes. We also record which of their fellow gibbons they like to spend the time with. The group finally got some luck after six hours of searching on the third day of their outing. They heard many calls and finally found several Hainan gibbons playing in the trees in the distance. Now we can see a black and a yellow one. They are picking olives from the tree and eating them. It is about 70 to 80 meters away from us. However, the apes had already disappeared by the time the watchmen reached the trees. We were really lucky today. Sometimes we can't find them even after days of searching. But sometimes they come to us. 
Wei and the other watchmen patrol all year round in order to discourage illegal logging. Thanks to their work, the number of gibbons is on the rise. A survey last year found at least 23 individual gibbons in the reserve, making up three families. But their reproductive habits still remain something of a mystery. Breeding females birth one offspring every two years. This much is known. According to the reserve's management, logging and poaching have all but disappeared, and local people now have a keen sense of environmental protection. The Hainan gibbons, at the top of the forest food chain, have few natural predators. More than 30,000 trees have been planted in the reserve. However, trees take time to grow. It will take many years for the secondary forest to become a suitable home for the Hainan gibbons.